I'm here with Kate Ford from the Museum of Sydney, Sydney Living Museums, and just at the Chinese Market Garden Project here in their forecourt. Kate, thanks for talking to me. Can you just describe the project a little bit? Hi, John. Thanks. Um, yeah, this um, project uh, is in association with an exhibition at the Museum of Sydney uh, called Celestial City. Uh, it's about Chinese uh, history in Sydney and the garden project is a little add-on. Um, we got some funding from the City of Sydney and we've got uh, five garden beds out on the forecourt with lots of different Chinese veggies and herbs and a few medicinal plants like ginseng. Yeah, great. All going Fantas crazy. Fantastic. And who's involved with the project? Are they community members or...? Uh, yeah, we've had um, the Chinese Heritage Association of Australia involved, um, giving us some support, and also New South Wales farmers who are advocating for um, farmers across the state to to help keep, you know, agricultural land and help us keep growing veggies closer to the city, yep. not shipping them in from, you America. know. America or, yeah. you know, across the country when you really don't need to. You can grow veggies right in the city, which is what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's cool. And this, this activated space, how long does it run for and what other events are you planning for, for the space, and including um, the garden project? Um, so we've been here since February and it's running through till October. Um, so we've got a series of planting and harvest days. So... Um, We'll be inviting people to come down and take home a little special bundle of fresh food to go home and cook and also to come and help plant some seedlings as well. Um, and we've got some uh, talks and workshops hopefully on the boil, um, maybe a bit of natural pest management, <laughs> that kind of thing. Sounds fascinating. Because <laughs> we still have, uh, we're right in the city but we still have a few little special bugs hanging around and eating our plants. That sounds great and you know the Sydney Living Museums they seem to have just recently gone through a rebranding and really focused on doing some pretty cool stuff. How does the the garden project kind of tie into where they're moving in the future? Uh, I think that it's just bringing people into the space and making it actually physically activated and not you know it's definitely not stale or um, typical you know I think people don't expect to see a little garden in the middle of the city and they are excited by that and yeah we're trying to get lots of different audiences involved and make, make it something for everyone I think. Very good and um, if people want to find out more how do they find out more? Uh, if they go to our website and follow us on Instagram, that's the best place, and Facebook. Fantastic. Cool. Well, thanks very much for talking to me, Kate, on this very cold morning yeah. in Sydney, um, and looking forward to seeing the Garden Project um, do some pretty cool stuff over the coming weeks. Thanks, Kate. Thanks. Thanks.